I'll say a few words about a poem called Understory. This one emerged from the tangle of sounds and images I discovered in Costa Rica's rainforests. Creatures and plants with adaptive camouflage caught me repeatedly off guard. Misled by my eyes and ears, I took concealment and trickery as part of the literal and metaphorical landscape. In music, a deceptive cadence surprises listeners by refusing to resolve a musical phrase as expected. The two words, deceptive cadence, evoked my experience of the rainforest and of human failure and led me to couplets. A question to consider. Where and when did you feel most like a stranger? And what concrete images of that experience come to mind? Understory. I woke to howler monkeys screaming at dawn. The false-eyed iguana changed from orange to green. In the raftered lobby, a teal-winged macaw screeched, hello, baby and the Jesus lizard ran across the infinity pool that met the sky. The deceptive cadence of Bach's Passacaglia and Fugue in C minor rang in the forest that made its own clouds and thus continually wept. Del Monte pineapples flanked the road to Tortuguero, where the forbidden Caribbean sparkled with sharks. In the mangrove, fallen trees turned into caiman, and leaves doubled in size every day above a chevroned tiger heron wading in the sloth. I beached the kayak below tiered and pedestaled trees festooned in droplets, trees studded with pink epiphytes, their holdfasts strong as barbed wire. After a brief sortie with bullet ants and poison frogs, I regrouped at the thatched tiki bar and added a gray-headed kite to my life list below boa constrictor and sloth. Seven years together, now we no longer speak. The rainforest absorbs decay in a lyric, like a bird in a mist net, the half-life of betrayal.